y'all? It's Risa with another speed build. Today I am building the house that is meant for my heir in my Newcrest Family Tree Challenge. So my Newcrest Family Tree Challenge is a challenge that I made up in The Sims where you have to fill up the entire Newcrest neighborhood with the same family. Um, I have a lot of rules to that. It is in the description below if you want to look at those. It's really fun and I've been doing it on stream and I've been putting out Let's Play episodes every Saturday for that. So if you're interested in that, I have an entire, um, whatchamacallit, playlist, those are the words, <laughs> for the challenge that I will link in my end card. So what is going on here is I'm trying to build a house for our heir, Mariella, who has just moved out with her her, her new husband, Pierce Delgado, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. So she ended up marrying Pierce, and they I think they're a pretty good match, in my opinion. He ended up growing up to be good, self-assured, and lazy, and she grew up to be a perfectionist, uh, clumsy and a hothead. So that's been, that's been pretty good so far. So I'm going to go back and forth between like build mode from playing the game and build mode from manage worlds because what ended up happening was they moved out at like, it's like 8 PM and it was raining and it's the beginning of spring. So all of the things were like dead. <laughs> So what I was doing is I was going into build mode from Manage World so that I could see things like in the correct uh, lighting, you know, and actually see what's going on instead of it being raining and everything, just so I can see the like their true colors. And it gave me a little help on what I wanted to do. Um, but then I ended up going back into the um, live mode not live, yeah, well, live mode, because Mariella brought a bunch of stuff with her from her parents' house that I wanted to put out while I was building. So her mom, one of her moms, ended up knitting a bunch of stuff that she took with her, which I think is like the best way to, to do this. When you're moving out into a new house, you just kind of take everything with you from that you can that you can fit in your your inventory <laughs> just so you have fewer things to buy in the next place so she brought her laptop with her and everything <laughs> so that's fun also i built this on stream so there are a couple jumps as well because of things like i got a text and so i was just sitting there for a while or uh what happened oh i went to go put in move objects and what ended up happening was somehow control shift C became a key bind for something in our, like we updated our graphics driver, I think it was. And so it became like a key bind for something with that. And I didn't know what was happening <laughs> because I was trying to, I was trying to do it and, um, was very silly and I had to go into the settings and everything. And I guess when I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working, I must have hit V instead of C. So as you can see right now, there's like this yellow frame around what's going on. And that's because I was accidentally recording a video for quite a while. I recorded that video until it was like, hey, that's as long of a video as you can record. And I was like, oh, uh, I didn't really want to record a video, but thank you anyway. So this house, there are a couple things that I take into account when I'm building houses in my new Crest Family Tree Challenge. And that is one of the things is that in the challenge, before you can move out of the house that you're in, you need to raise your, the footprint for, uh, from neutral to green in that lot before you can move on. I take into account what it says from the like neighborhood view from Manage Worlds, that's what tells me if it's green or not. And so to do that, I add a lot of eco lifestyle stuff. Um, and I try to only use materials that are either a neutral footprint, or they are a uh, eco footprint, or yeah, green footprint, that's what it's called. I'm like, it's all called eco footprints. But so that's why I'm using a lot of the eco 
lifestyle like stuff inside and on the outside and I'm using the spa day minimal slats out there as well because that doesn't give an industrial footprint whereas clapboard siding does which is a whole thing <laughs> that's pretty frustrating to me what they decide is and isn't like like industrial or green and it's very frustrating I'm actually pretty proud of this bathroom I really like how it looks and I added some extra stuff. I really wanted to have a, like, plant on the back of the toilet. I've never decorated the back of the toilet before in The Sims. So I wasn't sure if it would work. It does. It's playable. And I think it looks really cute. Because, like, in real life, you put things on the back of the toilet sometimes. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. Normally, actually, I put, like, a dustpan and, like, brush. Like, small handheld brush. Because... Our kitty litter is in that bathroom, and um, it can be a whole thing. <laughs> I really, really like the new kitchen stuff from Snowy Escape. So in a bit, you'll see that I replaced that end counter with one of those, like, half counters, thinking that I'd be able to use it. I was not able to use it, so I did end up having to replace it with a regular counter when I was actually playing with the house. So the version in the gallery has something, um, so you'll have to replace that because it's not playable that way, but I had already put it up in the gallery and everything when I did that. So, you know, if you would like to download this house, it is up in the gallery under my ID Kooky Kit. It is like Mariella's house version one or something like that. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I built a house that already had room for a nursery because a huge part of this challenge is trying to raise children and have them move out. And what I'd really like to do is have each family have two children because they can, like, if you get that many people out, you can have up to two new lots per generation. So if you have tw twins, to me, that's the best part. Have twins. And then when you are, you can have them in a tiny house when they're toddlers. That way you get through toddlerhood way quicker. So that's my little hack for you guys. If you would like to like get your toddlers out of that, out of that stage quicker, because we all do. Then what you can do is if you're in a tiny house, they build skills twice as fast. So I generally have them in tiny houses. We can, I can get toddlers out in like two days and then they become children. So it's very useful. I also found out recently that you can clean up toddlers in sinks and it's not as effective as actually bathing them, giving them a bath. But if you're like me and you stay pretty on top of their like potty need and take them to the potty constantly, then it's a lot easier because you won't have them like dirtying themselves by going in their diaper constantly. So at least... That way you can, um, you don't need the bathtub. So you can have a smaller house because you don't need a bathtub, uh, which is revolutionary in my opinion. Same with, you know what else is revolutionary? Those counters from Snowy Escape because they have slots underneath them um, where you can store things. And things like the drinks tray or like the hot pot that comes with the new pack you can slot them in there and then in live mode, you can pull them out and put them back. And I think that is like, to me, the most revolutionary thing we've had in a while. It almost makes up for the fact that they didn't give us counters with, I mean, cabinets with the pack. So I'm still salty about that. I actually like a lot of the new uh, buy mode items from this pack. As you can tell by the fact that I'm using a bunch of them, this house is like mostly tiny living, cats and dogs, and snowy escape. Those are like the three things I used the most. I really, really like the new pack. It's great. And it fits really well with a lot of the other stuff we already have. So in this case, I used it with a lot of the uh, tiny living stuff because tiny living is just fantastic. I It's my favorite stuff pack. I will continue to say that. I enjoy Nifty Knitting as well and Moschino stuff, but I think that um, Tiny Living is honestly the best stuff pack we have. If you're thinking about getting a stuff pack, that's the one I recommend because it has so many cool things and just having the entire lot type of a tiny home 
is so good because like I said, in a tiny home, you build skills twice as fast or in a micro home, I think it's even more than that. But trying to fit everyone into a micro home is too much for me. I can get like two Sims in a micro home, <laughs> but oh, I've, I have built one that was for, that was for three Sims. That was, but that was really rough. Um, <laughs> and it did involve some cheating, I have to admit. Oh, by the way, you can now include in your builds, if you have Snowy Escape, if you include the shoe rack, you can make Sims take off their shoes when they come inside. So that is so fantastic. So I'm going to be putting that in more of my builds right now. You can also have it so that they just wear slippers if you're more of a slipper person. I'm a bare feet gal myself. I don't like wearing socks or slippers inside my house unless it's really cold. But it is, you know, it's fine. I really enjoy the fact that they did give us that kind of, I, whatchamacallit? option to be able to have it be like you can have them keep their shoes on or you can make them take them off and a lot of my friends are like yes finally we can make our sims take off their dirty shoes because you know what i agree i think it's kind of gross that i am someone who thinks it's gross to walk through a house with shoes on but that's because i was raised in houses with carpet um and like you have like a little tile entryway or linoleum entryway depending on like where you are and the rest of the house is carpet. So you don't really want to be tracking mud in onto your carpet because it's so much harder to clean. Like I understand if you have like hardwood floors or tile, it's very different because like your feet get cold and it's way easier to clean these things. But I am someone who I have a shoe rack right by my door. <laughs> Uh, my husband and I both take our shoes off immediately when we get inside. We don't like walking around with our shoes on. He likes slippers and I prefer just bare feet because my feet need to be free. They must be free. So I'm really glad that they added that into the pack, into the game, finally. Like, I think that's awesome. But I still think that maybe we could have gotten more out of the new pack. But I do think all of these build and buy mode items make it worth the money, in my opinion. I haven't been doing much. I don't really care much for winter and winter sports. So that entire aspect of the pack is lost on me. I'm not super into that, but I am into rock climbing. So I do like that. I'm still thinking it's a huge bummer that we didn't get any cabinets because it means I have to, in a second, you'll watch me. <laughs> I go through a bunch of like trying out which cabinets match and I decided on parenthood, the parenthood cabinets. I think those look pretty nice anyway, but they end up being the closest wood match to the swatch that I liked of the, um, whatchamacallit, of the counters from Snowy Escape. I really like, for me, my favorite like colors in a house are like that nice light wood and white. So a lot of my furniture is just white or that light wood color, like a pine color or a birch color. That's just what I'm into. So that's why you see it a lot in, <laughs> you just see, you'll see it all in a lot of my builds, to be honest. That's just what I'm, I'm into. I don't like dark colors that much uh, because well, unless it's like for accents. So like our curtains are dark blue, navy blue, and our sheets are navy blue. But I'm just not really into dark colors because they make me gloomy. Like for reals, that's most of it. So in this neighborhood, I also already have some neighborhood action plans that are going. So we have green gardening, water conservation, and what was the other one? Mm, it might be like eco, not eco-friendly appliances. I had to get rid of that one because it, it was bugged out. It was completely bugged out. Um, something else though, with, with like, it has to do with eco-friendly. The reason I do those things is because I want things to be, I want to be getting action plans that are taking it to being a green footprint as quickly as possible. So with the green gardening, that one's a little bugged too. But if you get a bug home or a bee thing, 
uh, it will count. So just make sure you have those and you'll you'll be fine. I don't know if they've fixed it in the latest patches or not, but I know that that's how I've been doing it. So I gave them a little beehive and it's it's nice. I really like the bees anyway. I would love to keep bees if I could, to be quite honest. <laughs> like for reals. So I am getting to the end of this video now. Again, it is up in my in the gallery under my ID cookie kit if you want to download it. And if you want to watch me play this live and build this kind of thing live, you can find me on my Twitch channel, Crawlmeister Sisters, where I also stream other things like point and click adventures if you are into those. We just did a whole Life is Strange playthrough where chat decided what we were going to do. That was a lot of fun. So it's a lot of fun to come and see my streams. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up, leave a comment telling me what you like about it, and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell button so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, peace out, y'all. Mm -hmm.